Computers might not be able to mimic human intelligence, but what about a mem computer? Hey guys, Amy with you on D News today, talking intelligent supercomputers. Well, maybe. In 1950, computer scientist Alan Turing proposed the now famous Turing test that challenges anyone to build a computer that can think like a human. Success comes when a human conversing with the computer thinks he or she is really talking to another person. So far, no computer has been able to pass the Turing test, but a new kind of computer might be getting closer. Universal Mem Computing Machines, or Mem Computers, were developed by a team led by Massimiliano Di Ventra, a theoretical physicist at the University of California in San Diego. They are a class of brain-inspired computers based on human memory systems, essentially mimicking the human brain. It all comes down to the microchip. In a conventional microchip, the processor executes computations and the memory stores data. Both are separate components, necessitating a constant relay between processor and memory, something that consumes enough time and energy to limit the performance of a standard computer. Mem computers avoid this pitfall. Physicists building these new machines are using mem processors at the computer's core smaller units that can both process and store data, removing this relay between the two halves of a conventional microchip. It's a setup that mimics the way neurons work in the brain. In our brains, each neuron processes and stores information. So in a computer, these mem processors save energy, time, and ultimately improve the computer's performance. Mem processors can work together collectively and simultaneously to attack a complex problem from all sides, finding all possible solutions at once to settle on the best one, rather than trying each one in turn, which is what a human would do. And here's a really interesting aspect of this story. Working out the details of mem computing could help scientists better understand how the brain works. For now, mem computers are in the proof of concept stage, and the way the system encodes data makes it vulnerable to fluctuations that can introduce errors, so this will have to be addressed before a large-scale version can go to work. Still, this might be the computer that could, one day, perform notoriously complex tasks like breaking codes. But there are other breakthrough technologies that are changing the world and making amazing experiences possible. Intel drives innovation with products like processors, wearables, and iOS. IoT devices. In the PC and beyond, having Intel inside makes for a better experience outside. So what do you guys think of the prospect of a computer that mimics the human brain? Cool or super creepy? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more D-News every day of the week.